All right, I'm gonna make a video on how to fill your own propane tank. If you have a big tank, like a 250 or a 500 gallon tank at home, you can usually buy the gas a lot cheaper to get it delivered than getting the small tank refilled. Plus, you don't need an inspection because you just don't care about the inspection. So every 12 years, whatever. So basically what we have here, we hooked up to the, what they call the check lock with a, an adapter and a special valve for the check lock. And uh, I got it adapted out to a hose, out to a vent so we can vent out the gas to get liquid. And a POL fitting with a hand valve. Basically what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna close the check lock. We're gonna attach it to the POL fitting. That time for it. Check it to the POL fitting here, which is a left hand thread. We're good. Make sure that valve's open. All the way open. Tank's completely empty, okay? That's closed. The vent is open. Let's close it for now. Get the valve closed. So right here in this, what they call the, I think they call it a check lock or something. It's a dip tube that goes all the way down to the bottom and you're actually drawing uh, liquid. You need a special adapter to go to pipe thread and then to your, it's a special valve to do this. Uh, this is your emergency exhaust or your relief valve. This is your fill valve. This is your multi-port with a dip tube for filling, a service valve, and a gas removal valve. So slowly open it because you're getting liquid out. All the way open. So now we're gonna purge all the gas out. Right here. Until you get liquid out. When you get liquid out, you can close it. That's your liquid. And you got liquid in the line. Close it and open your valve. And now you are you're filling that tank with liquid. Right here where I got my screwdriver in. Right there. That's your vent. You might want to vent it once in a while to make sure you get all the air out. I just put a new valve in here so this tank has air in it. I can still hear it flowing. Plenty of liquid going through there. So liquid. Basically, when you see liquid coming out of this vent, you're full. Because this valve is meant for a 20 pound tank. The deep tube on this valve is for a 20 pound tank. This is a 40 pound tank. So instead of being full to 80%, in theory, it should be 90% full, which is good for me. It's more gas in the tank. It only gives you 10% of headspace, so you want to make sure that the tank doesn't get very hot or your relief valve here is going to vent out. Don't leave it in a hot car if you fill to So here liquid going in. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure that I have uh, a lot of air trapped in that tank. 
poner al centro al lado. Tank's pretty much full now. Uh, I'm gonna cut the video so I can finish filling it. It's gonna take a little bit to get that nice last piece. But this is the best and fastest way to fill your own tank at home. The whole setup probably costs about 100, 120 bucks between the valve, the adapter, and the hose that I have made up, and all these fittings. You don't have to use all these fittings, it's just nice to have. Um, there's another dork online that has a tank hooked up to the fill that to the service valve and he's basically transferring gas he runs a hose on on his tank to cool it down man that takes forever be an hour there trying to fill up the tank this is a much faster way we'll see you later